All right, big boy. Let's make this happen. I don't want to make anything happen. I just want to tell the truth. I've been pretty rattled uh, for the last, um, oh, 48 hours. Uh, woo. Went to the dentist, had elevated blood pressure. Uh, had elevated blood pressure at the doctor a couple months ago. I never get elevated blood pressure at the doctor or dentist. It's always 120 over 80. Now, four months ago, I started taking a bodybuilding supplement called a creatine monohydrate. It makes give me big muscles, man. It makes me strong. I can uh, throw the kettlebells around like I'm a 14-year-old instead of a 61-year-old, and uh, I really enjoy it. But uh, I got this uh, idea in my head that maybe the uh, whew, maybe the creatine was uh, causing some spike blood pressure. So uh, I bought a uh, I bought this Omron blood pressure kit. I've been taking my blood pressure, and it's been elevated uh, 140 over 90. Today it's starting to go down a little bit. I've been off creatine for two days, so maybe the creatine's slowly leaving my system. Let's hope that it's as easy as the creatine. Funny enough, you know, you read about creatine, supposed to have no side effects. Well, <laughs> I don't know, man. I have a feeling it elevated my blood pressure. And then I went on Bodybuilding Insider. A lot of bodybuilders uh, reported the same issue. They, they had uh, huge spikes. Their doctor said, dude, your kidney's being uh, strained. Uh, get off the stuff. And they went off of it, and within two weeks, they were back to normal numbers. So I'm hoping that's what it is, because if it's not, uh, well, then i got to do Plan B. Plan B is more punitive. Plan B is all about, i got to lose 10% of my body weight to lower that blood pressure to get it back down to 120 over 80. And uh, some people say, well, why do you got to get it down? You're fine. You're working out. Well, here's what my dentist told me. And... I wish I would have known this earlier. I mean, I'm 61. I should have known this, especially because I lost my mother uh, two years ago to a renal failure, kidney failure. Uh, my dentist told me that bottom number should be 80. If it's higher than 80, if it's in the 90s, that's called your diastolic uh, blood pressure. If it's in the 90s, you're punishing your kidney, and the damage is, uh, is irreversible. And now you're looking at dialysis. I told one of my patients this. I got this patient. He's rich. He's a father. He's making money for his family. He's wearing Omega Planet Ocean. He's wearing Panerai. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, well, he was too busy to call his doctor and get his blood pressure checked. I'm too busy. I don't have time, man. I'm making money. <laughs> well, so he's facing dialysis now. Now, what Dr. Peter Atiyah said, I just read his uh, most recent book, pretty good book. Peter Atiyah said uh, on a uh, recent podcast that uh, once you, you subject your uh, kidney to uh, high blood pressure, your, your lifespan is actually worse than if you're diagnosed with the majority of cancers. So, I mean, you know me, man. I'm very high-strung. I'm, I'm the dude. I can't even sleep at night if I'm worried about what kind of watch I'm going to wear on my wrist. You want to start talking about subjecting my kidney to dystolic high blood pressure and you start using language like, uh, you know, kidney machines and dialysis machines, man. You, I, I've been rattled for the last 48 hours. The good news is uh, today I'm seeing a little bit of downward trend. On the uh, on the um, on the blood pressure, see a little downward trend. I'm hoping uh, I'm gonna have to do a follow-up video on this, and uh, maybe in two weeks I'll be back down to my normal 120 over 80. This is no joke to me, man. If it's not, man, I'm gonna have to go back to my uh, 2,200 calories a day, 100 carbs a day. It's gonna be punitive, and I love food. I watch television, which is about food, triggers me with food. I watch a show called Billions. Damien Lewis and Paul Giamatti, man, they're always eating food. They're eating pizza. They're eating French dip with a jus sauce. And this stuff triggers me, man. I want to eat, man. I love snacking. You know, uh, we talk about holy grails a lot in this little circle of ours, the watch addiction circle. Let me give you my diet holy grail. My diet holy grail would be to eat, uh, you know, whole foods, ancestral 
ancestral Whole Foods. <laughs> and, and here's the thing, I would love to not snack. I would love to give my pancreas a rest. Just no snacking. Forget the intermittent fasting, I'll pass out. But I mean, just to eat three meals a day and not snack. I don't know if I could do it. I don't know. But if you, if you got a magic wand, you want to, uh, you know, place it gently over my forehead, give me the magic wand, I'll, I'll cut down to three meals a day. So uh, I'm going to have to do a follow-up on this. I'm hoping it was just creatine. Creatine monohydrate? My wife thinks it is. And it sure seems like it. Causation, correlation, who knows? I guess we'll have to figure it out in two weeks. On the watch front, I don't have a lot of news, man. I'm, I'm loving my, uh, my Seikos uh, on these uh, gorgeous uh, OEM straps. Took my daughters to Yogurtland. I hadn't worn my Citizen, as you call it, the Ashtrayzilla. I hadn't worn it in months. Thought I'd put it on. Hated it. I don't know why. I felt like I wasn't supposed to be wearing it. I felt like I was wasting time. That I should have been wearing something else. I, I was relieved when I came home and put this on. Uh, so I'm going to sell it. I, I probably won't make that much money. I'll probably make 190 bucks, you know, you know, on eBay. I'll sell it. So uh, yeah, I'll just wear my uh, Captain Willard. Uh, honestly, I don't really care. I, I want to get my blood pressure down, man. You start uh, giving me uh, health crisis situation scenarios, uh, the watch uh, stuff uh, becomes less uh, less compelling to me. So I, maybe I'll get back into watches once I get this blood pressure thing down. So I got to make another video uh, about the blood pressure situation. Uh, follow up. I got to tell you what happened, man. Was it the creatine? Or did I have to do the punitive plan B? Am I going to have to go into the punishment dungeon of 100 carbs a day, 2200 calories a day? Dude, I'm going to be miserable. I don't even think I'm going to make videos anymore if I do that. I'll just be so pinch-faced and ticked off. Man, I'll be too grumpy to make videos, man. Oh, well, I got my blood pressure down, but I don't have a life. Wow, that's going to be terrible. Ladies and gentlemen, tell me what you think. Until next time, I'm out.